The Pity Palace offers us a who's who look at the architects, artists, and power brokers of Renaissance Florence and beyond. Originally, the palace was commissioned by Luca Pitti, who owned banks rivaling the Medici banks. He wanted to display his wealth in this palace by commissioning Filippo Brunelleschi, designer of the Duomo. However, when the palace finally came to acquire the land required to build upon, Brunelleschi was dead, and Luca Pitti and his banks had gone into bankruptcy. Shortly after, Luca dies and the project sits idle for decades before the family, a former rival, Cosimo Medici's son, Cosimo I, revives the project. It was greatly expanded with new wings, new bays, and with that it became the massive sprawling palace that we see today. Italy's second king after unification, King Victor Emmanuel III, gave it back to the people becoming a public museum in the early 20th century. Today, it houses a handful of museums. Most importantly, it houses the Palatine Gallery. Once started as the Medici family's private collection, it now has works by Caravaggio, Titian, Rubens, Bruegel, Veronese, Botticelli, and the list goes on. There are so too artworks commissioned by Napoleon at the Pitti Palace, as he and his family lived in the palace during Napoleon's occupation of Florence and Tuscany.